custom-built locking design, the innovative technology ensures breakthrough performance and the streamlined workflow. QV9 not only helps doctors to get excellent images in a very short time, it gives comfortable feeling to the patients. Now, follow me to explore more about QV9. Press the probe button to go back to the probe selection screen. Here's all the exams that are available. Roll the trackball to select the right probe, application, and preset. Then double press the enter button to confirm. Go to the imaging screen. To begin, push the patient button. Get into the patient information screen. Now it automatically shows a patient ID. I need to input last name, first name, sex, and age. In B mode, four parameters are the most important. They are gain, depth, frequency, and focus. Firstly, gain control consists of total gain and TGC. To adjust total gain, rotate B knob can increase or decrease gain. Make sure the image not too bright or not too dark. TGC, from top to bottom, A selection, keep uniformity of brightness. For example, the near field with low echo, slide TGC to a relative higher level, so the image is more clear. Rotate this key left and right to adjust image depths. Switch it and rotate this key to change focus position located at the interested image area. There are some shortcut keys here. Here we have two lines parameters. Press the first knob to adjust frequency, according to different body size patient. The second line parameter, we can twist the knob to adjust it, like dynamic. Also, we have some other parameters. Press the menu button, they will show out. Let's get started in kidney 2D image. Now we can get the image on screen. Here is AIO, automatically image optimization. According to the real situation, press it to reach an ideal image level. Press this key to open one key to full screen display function. It will expand the vivid image area with high resolution. Press exit to go back to normal 2D image. If you need 2B mode, press this key twice. And if you need 4B mode, just press this key four times. Also, we have some other parameters. Press menu button. They will show out. This area is for measurement. Press this button to do distance measurement with trackball and enter key. Let's see the complete calculation package. Press the calculation button.
Rotate this key to change the result from size. Press this key and roll the trackball to change the position. Now it's under the normal based on the application I choose. Hit the change key to go through different packages. For OB package, click the biometric item GS, BBD, HC, AC, FL. Choose any one you want. It will give you more information, like gestational age and EDD. Let's go to cardiac package. It offers you complete and professional methods in cardiovascular field. Single plane ellipse, bioplane ellipse, modified Simpson, bullet, cube. Choose anyone as you want. It will show you professional clinical diagnostic results like EDV, ESV, SV, etc. This key is for comment. Press it, we can input comments on the screen. Also, we have quick comment. We can edit six frequently used comments. Next time, we just press the knob to get the comment on the screen. Besides the comment key, there is a body mark key. Press it. All body marks of these current presets will show out. Press the corresponding knob. You can add the body mark on the image. This key is for arrow. Rotate angle knob can change direction of arrow. Press this key to save steel image. Another key is to save movie. They will be displayed at below area. Press clear key to delete wrong measurements and uh, comments. Let's move to color mode. In color mode, we need to adjust four basic parameters. Interesting box, color gain, PRF, WF. Press enter key once and move the trackball. We can change the size of interesting box. Press enter key again, it would be fixed. Rotate key C can adjust the color gain to reach the color gain to a reasonable level so that the blood flow will not exceed the vascular vessel or disappear from the vessel. Move this key to adjust PRF to make blood flow displayed properly. Move this key to adjust the wall filter. Get rid of invalid Doppler signals generated by the movements of internal organs. Besides, we have one smart technology, QFlow. Greatly enhance the tiny vessel with low velocity displaying. Now it's off. Click this key. You will see big difference. Besides key C, 
There is a CPA button for color power Doppler. Press this button can turn this function on. Press the menu key. Open the BBC mode. Press exit key to turn it off. Press key D to enter into PW mode. In this mode, the road the trackball can adjust the size of sample gate. Rotate angle key can change Doppler angle. Press Update key to active Doppler wave. Rotate key D to adjust the spectrum total brightness. Rotate this key to change the baseline. Press the triplex key to open triplex function. Press the chord plus key to open chord plus function. It will display the major results in real time. After we finish the color and Doppler scanning, let's do measurement. Press this key can trace Doppler automatically and give you a lot of results. Also, there is a calculation package for Doppler measurements. Press it. You can find many items here. Virtual HD, by using movable light resource from different direction to make Fetus face more vivid. FHI, push this button to open it, especially for cardiac examination. X contrast, push this button, specialized for liver scanning. Press Report key. The system will show us a report. We can find calculation results also shown on the report. Here we can input diagnosed conclusion, add images we saved. Then we can preview to see what's the report like if we print it. When my exam is done, I can press this key to review the images from the study. You can hit play and review it. Stop. If I want to export images to USB, first, Plug U-Disk to ultrasound system until it's organized. Until it's recognized, select images or scene you want to copy. Then click this icon, Export. Select image format and 2D AVI. Finally, click OK. These little lines down here indicates that images are being exported. And now, you can see it's finished. So I can hit Cancel. Press System Setting key. First, we can input hospital information here. Different, maybe in different time zone. So we can use regional setting. There is a printer key on the keyboard. 
we can define its function here, video printer or PC printer. Also, we can choose print area. Here, the key configuration, we call it hotkey function. You can re redefine different function or OB measurements from number 0 to number 9, which saves doctors a lot of time. Different applications have different calculation packages. We can choose the method we want. Take OB package, for example. We have many kinds of methods inside. Choose what we want and cancel which we don't need. Then save. Next time, when we open it, it will show what we want. We have an OB table here. Doctor, doctor can choose OB method, which he likes. This is comment. Here we can edit comment library. For the report format, we can also edit. Here we can choose select sections. Here we can choose sections we want to show on the report and delete what we don't want. This is DICON function. Here we can add different kinds of DICON function. Network is used to setting network for the whole system, including network storage function. The system have default presets, but here we can add new application and preset according to doctor's habit. Also, it's very convenient to upgrade the system. First, press this key to upgrade software then, press this key to upgrade the FPGA. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video can help you to operate Qubit 9 properly. If you still have any questions, please feel free to contact us.